Well, we're doing a different kind of selfie today, and uh, well, I'll let Mary tell you. What's going on, Mary? I'm going to be a grandma. You're going to be a grandma? Yeah, I'm going down to Huntington Beach. What, and what just happened this morning when we were getting ready to go to the studio to shoot, start shooting our movie with Mom oh, and Tom? I got a Tom. call from my daughter saying I'm at the hospital. So... Yes, we were we were just getting ready to go meet Tom, Mama Man Tom, at the studio. We were on time and everything. It was 10 o'clock. We just finished our, our breakfast. We're heading over there, and Tom said he was on his way, and the call came. I had to go to the studio and meet Tom there because he doesn't pick up when he's driving. So he went all the way up there, and we had a little meeting, which was kind of nice. But we all know that babies being born into the world are much more important than shooting movies. Absolutely. So I'm going to be down there for about 10 days until the day after Thanksgiving. Which means all you guys are welcome to come over and party. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to get to work and do lots of it. So. Okay, we'll see you later. Okay. Well, it's a girl. Of course, we knew that. I knew that the first time that Mary got the uh, sonogram sent to her on an iPhone nine months ago. Well, not quite. She came a little early. She was doing a 22nd. She came yesterday, I think, which was the 17th. And she arrived at, uh, I think it was 11 or so at night uh, last night. So, uh, of course, Mary is down there with her daughter, Emily. Uh, she's ecstatic. She's over there right now. Everybody's very tired. She's holding the baby so poor Emily can sleep. And what am I doing? I'm staying. I stayed home to take care of the dogs and watch the house and, and get some work done, which is what we're doing today. So I feel kind of cut off and I probably won't see Mary for a few days, which is really not fun because I miss her terribly. I love her so much. Uh, and this is like the first time we've been away from each other for longer than 24 hours. So uh, it's a new experience, but uh, we're doing well here. And uh, we're at the studio with Rosie and Zena, the the Princess Warrior. I want to thank um, Elliot Brown for sending these. These are for our our science fiction museum uh, enterprise we're building. Elliot, thank you so much for doing this brass work. It's just beautiful. I mean, I don't know what you're doing differently, but the brass is really clean. Every hole is perfectly precise. Uh, not that it wasn't before, but I mean, this really, I mean, really, 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 really is good stuff. And of course, if you want custom brass etching uh, done for you, Elliot Brown at warmplastic.com will be happy to help you. And Elliot, of course, always pay attention to your email and your phone calls because you never know who's gonna be calling you for this. And evidently, a lot of my friends are. So, because he does this stuff on the fly and he does it very quickly and he does it very precisely. And he's a hell of a human being. Over here, uh, I had worked uh, Sunday all day making this blueprint of the, uh, of course, the prop that we already built. I know uh, some of you uh, are seeing this for the first time and don't know that we already have the prop. So we're gonna show you the prop uh, very quickly here. Um, and, and put it alongside the blueprints. Of course, I have to make another one that's broken up into lots of little pieces so that uh, uh, it uh, looks like it's being assembled. Now, all this was to be ready for Tom Piedmont uh, of modelersbrand.com, Model Man Tom, hey, we know who Model Man Tom is, uh, who came up here on Monday to shoot and not realizing that uh, uh, the baby uh, was was going to come when it did. He, at 10 o'clock, said, um, Steve, I'm on my way. And of course, he, he won't answer the phone while he's driving. But since, <laughs> I digress, but since he didn't answer, uh, I knew, oh, gee, he's going to come up here anyway. I just missed him because we just got the call the water broke. So uh, I drove all the way over here uh, to, to meet him. And uh, we had a little meeting and stuff about the shoot, and he went home because I had to go back, and Mary had to get ready to go to Huntington Beach. But uh, we had a great meeting, and Tom, uh, I left him at home, made up some really nice storyboards for us to shoot by. Thank you, Tom, so much. And of course, uh, uh, there's the prop, which is uh, flickering for some reason. I think it's the switch. Um, and it turns colors and stuff, and the gauges all move and everything with magnets. For those of you who have not seen this prop before, 
This is the Martian Transmogrifer as uh, entitled and uh, thought of by Bill and Heidi Hughes. If you don't know who Bill and Heidi Hughes is, you better check out Matt Mercury. Do it today. But going back to our museum uh, of science fiction, I want to thank all, all of you, and there's been many of you that have been sending in contributions, both money uh, to PayPal and also things like this. And I know Model Man Tom is uh, going to send us some, some LEDs or strip lighting. For the Enterprise, Randy Newbert, of course, uh, is providing boards, nav boards, and uh, LEDs for the Enterprise. Uh, Ken Palco, of course, is doing our uh, laser cut aluminum armature uh, for the internal part of it. And so a lot of people are contributing both money and equipment that we need to build this model. Now keep in mind, no one's making any money off this model. This is a donation. This is a, a contribution to the museum. The model will be on loan permanently at the museum in Washington. And everybody, because I talked to Greg, that contributes to this model, uh, its construction, gets their name on the plaque in the museum. So for all time, for, you know, hundreds of years, you'll be known for your help in building that model. So thanks, everyone. Uh, that's helped keep the contributions coming in uh, just use PayPal and use my email address or you can go to our website uh, stevenealsgarage.com and there's a donation button there and a little thing about it okay this museum is an incredible thing it's something that's very needed we need a Smithsonian for sci-fi uh, model work in general and sci-fi model work, uh, effects uh, this museum will document all the fine work that's been done over the years, and he's got a hell of a team, Greg, of fine modelers working on all kinds of great stuff. So go check it out. Uh, that's a sci fi museum.org, and uh, you'll be glad you did. So, uh, well, moving on, we're going to go upstairs and uh, see what I'm doing now, which is. Um, um, people walking on the roof. Uh, we're working on the JJ Prize, or JJ Bombiel as I like to call it. And what I'm getting to do is the fun job of putting on Aztecs upside down. We'll come back and look at more of this later. Oh my, 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 my. I started on this at 11 o'clock and it's now almost four. That's five hours. Well, eh, 11.30. Let's round it off to 12. Either way, it's four hours, maybe more, a little bit more. So you have to really want to have these Aztecs on there bad. And believe me, the advantages to the paint is so much over that of um, the decals. But, you know, they, they both take as long. Um, unfortunately, I got some uh, damage here from leaning it on its side. This is why I prefer to do this in sub-assemblies uh, over, you know. But anyways, face it, it's, it's an easy fix. I'm not really worried about it. So, um, next thing to do is to put some uh, paint on it. Well, there we go. Um, I'm gonna go under here and we'll take a look. We'll put the light down underneath here so you can see. Uh, there's our Aztecs underneath. They're pretty much as subtle as on top. With the bright light on, you hardly see them at all. When I do that, you see them a lot more. But uh, they came out really nice and I did all the way underneath here as well and on the underside of the cells as well so we have officially completely utterly totally aztec out this entire model uh, now to fix the crack in the cells I did from doing it that way uh, we'll take a look at this with lights off there we go isn't it pretty and even the overspray that got on the lights they were too bright anyway this looks really nice. I'm really happy with it. So keep in mind, folks, and I know I keep saying this like a broken record, but this model is for sale. And it's going to be done probably next week. I don't know what I'm going to do with the base yet. We're going to work on that. But this model is going to be done diddly done, as Ned Flanders would say. So uh, if you have an interest in it, uh, any reasonable offer will be can considered. Make me an offer. Make us an offer. Uh, or otherwise, otherwise, it's going to end up in my showroom and I get to keep it. 
but I'd rather sell it to you because, well, as you all know, I prefer the old TOS and the refit to this, but I, you know, it's grown on me. I gotta say, it's not that bad of a ship. Uh, I know your experience may differ. <laughs> so that's it for today. It's been a long one uh, doing this model and I want to uh, go home and come back and do more tomorrow.